Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Brittany. I'm currently a physician assistant who is starting to work soon, but I'll get into that in a little bit. Um, I thought it'd be fun to bring you along while I try to make some sourdough bagels and sourdough pizza dough and just like preparing for things um, that I'm gonna try to make for Valentine's Day. While I do all this preparation, I thought it'd be fun to kind of bring you guys along for a QA. and a I don't think I've ever done one of these before, but I thought it'd be a cool way to kind of answer some questions that I thought you guys might wanna know. Let's get started. Okay, so just to talk about sourdough for a little bit, it's not as hard as everyone makes it out to be. I've been using two different starters. They came from the same starter at first and then I split them up and I've been using them for a couple of weeks now. They're really easy to maintain. When you're not using it, you just stick it in the fridge. Make sure to not let it over kind of like ferment and sit for more than 10 days and if you continue to feed it it should be okay so i just took it out of the fridge this morning i fed it maybe about to like halfway and it grew first thing is you are definitely going to need a scale um and this is like my favorite thing to use because it's so much easier than using like the half cup measurement things um measuring cups that's what it's called so my first question is what are you doing now so you guys know that i've basically graduated in december and i'm done with school and i have a job coming up it's just that i'm waiting for the um certification process my licensing to come in things like that there's stuff that i need to basically apply for and then once it's there i'll start training and then once I'm done training, I'll start working. So it's a really long process, but everything is set in stone and I'm trying to follow it as close as possible. But that's essentially what I'm doing. So I'm just waiting for those things to come in. And while I'm waiting, um, I've been at home baking, as you guys can see. I've been watching the show, This Is Us on Netflix. I've always wanted to watch it when it was on cable television, but I just never got into it. And so when I saw that it was on Netflix, I thought it'd be a great time for me to kind of start watching the show. And let me just tell you that if you are a really big like family person, this show is gonna make you cry so bad. I think I've almost cried for about 70% of the episodes that I've watched. And it's mostly because of the scenes that Milo is in. He's a really, really great actor. I've been also reading a lot. Um, I just started reading Fourth Wing, which I really, really like so far. So hopefully it gets better. I think I'm like six chapters in, but I'm also trying to read more. So if you guys have book recommendations, let me know down below. Um, besides that, just watching TV, going to the gym. All right, so the second question is, do I have a job? And I do, it's just, um, like I said before, I'm waiting for all the credentialing stuff to go through. My job is going to be in infectious disease. I am starting in a field that I absolutely am so excited to be in. So there's also another video that I wanted to do where I kind of talk about how I landed what seems like my dream job i also want to do a video about the whole interviewing process and stuff like that so if that's something that you guys would be interested in watching um definitely leave some questions that you have about the whole like interview process and i'd be happy to answer i will be working in the city so i will have to travel a little bit but i wouldn't trade it for anything else honestly because i really am happy that i got something in the field that i wanted and most of it is because it's so hard to become a pa in the id world it's not a very prevalent field for this profession and um it's very, very new, which is why I'm really excited about it because I just feel like, you know, like PAs are in and of itself a trailblazer in the field of medicine because we're fairly, fairly new. This profession only started in the 60s and a lot of physicians or doctors just have never worked with PAs, especially in the infectious disease world. And to be a PA in that field now, it's, it's almost like you're carrying an extra porch being a trailblazer it's like that extra level if that makes any sense so i'm really excited for it and once things get rolling i'll talk more about the role itself 
So the next question is any words of advice to PA students? And obviously like I can give you the generic, like you'll be okay, you'll make it through, but I'm gonna be very real with you and just say that like not everyone makes it through PA school and that's okay. If it's something that you want to do, then don't let that failure kind of hinder you from still doing what you want. I know a lot of people that have um, had to go through different routes in order to become a PA student. And like I've known some people that dropped out once, reapplied, got in again, took the course, dropped out again. And then I know some other people who've dropped out didactic year and I also know people that have dropped out clinical year so it's very just like based on what type of studier and student you are but my advice is to be honest with yourself right like if you cannot understand something look for help don't be that person that is too afraid to ask for help because of your pride don't you know sit there and act like you know everything because you don't want to seem dumb and things like that there's always going to be the pressure from other people to kind of hide that self th that part of yourself if you are failing in school and things like that but honestly it's okay because not everyone passes every single exam it's a totally other day but we're going to continue this q a um i'm currently making banana pudding for Valentine's Day. And we're gonna make some whipped cream to mix this into. But my next question is, will I be continuing to do YouTube? And honestly, I think I've given it a lot of thought, mostly because like YouTube for me is more of a hobby. I don't make any money from doing this and I use my free time whenever I'm not like studying or doing some sort of work to just make videos, film, and edit them for you guys. For me, it's like a creative outlet and most of my friends will know that I am a super creative person. I really do like art. I like to draw, paint, um, craft, and even like do video editing stuff so this to me is really fun i for the foreseeable future do think that i will continue but it's not a promise to say that like i will always upload and when things get busy in my life i just kind of don't upload and i think you guys know that or like you see from how i upload my vlogs that they're not always caught up that that's the case um but for the foreseeable future, I do see myself continuing, but I don't know for how long. So now I'm gonna fold the pudding mix into the whipping cream. But the next question is, what are my goals for this year? And I know that like it has already been a month of 2024. And I think I spoke about this in my previous video about having New Year's resolutions. I think like, yes, it's important to have them, but I think that you should always be trying to better yourself and not just in the beginning of a new year. It's to continue my fitness journey. I've been getting back into the gym. I actually just started using class pass because I get to try out new workouts. I literally just went to Zumba today and I was tracking like how many calories I burned and it's in such an insane amount. I think it's in, like crazy that just by dancing for an hour, you can burn almost like 500 calories, but it was really fun. I went with a couple of my friends and we just had a good time listening to music and doing some dance moves. So if you guys are like in the market to try to do new things, definitely go with your friends to a new fitness class or something like that. I also want to just prioritize my health. I think last year or even just like the two years before when I was in school, I put a lot of like my health on the back burner because I had to obviously 
um, like do well in school and stuff. And you guys, I think will understand as students that like sometimes you just forget to take care of yourself, which is another reason why I'm always stressing how important it is to do so. Um, but I'm gonna be your number one hypocrite and say that even though I tell you to do that, I don't do that myself. And then just really live in the moment. That's all I'm gonna have to say for 2024. And those are probably just my biggest goals for this year. Okay, so now comes the fun part of making banana pudding, which is when you layer everything together. I'm gonna cut all the bananas first while I answer the next question, which is, how did I find my job? So I originally was gonna make a whole video about this, giving you like a story time of how I found my job and everything. But I will just say that it was pure luck and just good timing. A lot of people like forget that finding a job is based on how the market is for that particular job. And also when they have openings at whatever company or corporation you're going to be working for as well as specifically for the medical field like which fields are looking for a specific PA in that specialty so it's it's not always to say that like oh PAs are always going to find a job the most important thing for me was to find a job that I would be happy in, right? Like I knew coming out of school, I would be able to find a job because PAs are in such high demand, but I wanted to make sure that I was taking a job I was excited to be in and also that would support me because I am a new grad and there's so much that I still don't know that I want to be able to like learn and build my skills in that place and build a good foundation i didn't want to just start out in a hospital and have them like throw me into you know this battlefield that i didn't know how to really like work through so i think for the actual story time of how i found my job i will leave that for another video because i think it's really interesting how i found it and it was really just based on like timing and to some extent, I think it was like fate that I was supposed to get this job. I really, am, I'm so glad that I found my job because I'm really just excited to start it. And you guys will know that feeling when you find a job that you like truly just believe was created for you. So for all the important ingredients for banana pudding, um, obviously you need some vanilla wafers. If you don't have that, you need to get this because this is like the bread and butter of banana pudding and i'm gonna answer the last question which is how can i prepare for interviews so i really just think that i'm gonna make a whole series on work in general i think a lot of people including myself had like zero idea how to go about this and so i want to do a whole series where i talk about like how to conduct yourself in a medical interview meaning not when you're interviewing a patient but when you are trying to find a job in the medical field and then also like how to talk about yourself or present yourself in a way that you know showcases what things you've done but essentially you prepare by practicing whether that be doing multiple interviews to kind of get familiar with the process or just talking to yourself in the mirror all of that works and you will find that the more interviews you go on, the easier this becomes. And it's just like practice makes perfect. Although no one's gonna be perfect at interviewing, it gets easier because then you're more used to public speaking and things like that. So I think mastering an interview is just preparing yourself. And if you um, are able to like just be genuine in your interview you will do just fine and you don't need to worry about like impressing anyone because even though an interview is you trying to get a job it's also you trying to get a feel for if this job is the right fit for you yeah and that's how i approached interviews all right so i'm gonna finish making all of this but um i hope you guys enjoyed this video 
If you did, give it a thumbs up. Tell me if you like the layout of this where I kind of just answer questions and do things on my own time. Yeah, I thought it was super interesting because then you get to see me in motion, but also I get to answer questions that you guys may have. That's going to be the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, subscribe if you want to, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!